well, well, they took down my video. Surprise, surprise. I was expecting it, of course, because what I say doesn't fit in with the Zionist Israeli narrative. So I have to be really careful about what I say. So I have my little microphone for the people at the back because you really need to listen very carefully. Let me ask you a question. Why is it that Ukraine can resist Russia, Ukraine can fight back, and they're called heroes? But when Palestine fight back, when they resist the occupation, they're called terrorists. Why? Here is a fact for you. Gaza is under Israeli siege and occupation. That's a fact. Please don't report me for stating facts. Currently, Israel have stopped electricity supply, water supply. So basically, Israel are in control of Gaza. Another fact. So here we go, some more facts about Gaza. Basically, if you live in Gaza, I would say 70-80% of the water is not fit to consume. Um, there is many, many refugees who live in Gaza. In Gaza, they, the vast majority of people depend on international aid. The vast majority of people are living in poverty. You see, people from Gaza can't just enter and leave Gaza whenever they please. They can't just go on holiday. You know, they, they can't live life. They basically don't have any human rights. That's a fact. This is not hate speech. This is a fact. So imagine when the people of Gaza say enough is enough. Let us live our lives. Let us live. So imagine when they resist this occupation. Imagine when they fight back. The world condemns them. The world sticks by Israel because they say Israel has a right to defend itself. Well, so does Palestine. Viva Palestine.